Hey guys, in this video today I'm going to show you how to thread a yarn pom-pom onto a crocheted or knitted anything yarn. And I'm going to be showing you how to thread one onto the top of a beanie. I figured I could do a pretty much easy, more easy tutorial for you guys because I haven't made videos in quite a while. I am very sorry for that. I've just been really busy with school and all that. So I hope you guys can understand that. I have a list of requests though from you guys and I have some that I just have written down for ideas. I should be able to film them pretty soon. But what you will need for this tutorial today are scissors. Um, you can use any scissors that you want really just as long as it cuts the yarn and all that good stuff. And then you will need a yarn needle. And this is different from a regular sewing needle because, as you can see, the needle part right here is a lot thicker. It's less sharp because of how thick it is around. And the slot where you put, where you thread everything through, is a lot bigger, as you can see here. And you need this because sewing thread is obviously not going to work for this so whatever you want to is fine you can get a pack of like five of these at walmart and they're really really cheap so i would go with that and then obviously you will need your beanie and you will need your homemade pom-pom and for this tutorial for this purpose you will need the ones with the tail at the end so let's get started so first off what i would what i usually like to do is I like to kind of set my beanie up like this and then kind of put my pom-pom on so that I can kind of find a way to look how it might be centered. So I just kind of go like this and the way this is angled is not very good so I'm sorry if I have really awkward hands or my knee might get in, which I hope it doesn't, it's like right here, you know, and yeah, it's just a mess, but hopefully it'll be alright. Anyway, the way that my beanie is crocheted, there is a circle, it's crocheted that way, so it's a little bit easier to find out exactly where I want to put my strings when I sew them on. If, I, if my face was a lot closer, then this would be really easy, but you do what you can, so. Just kind of position that on there, and mine should sit like this, and if it's laying down, it'll be like this. Alright, so I'm going to take my needle, and I'm going to flip my pom-pom over so that I can grab one of the strings here. And I'm just going to take it off and lick it, because... It is a lot easier that way to just flatten it out and hopefully get this through in one try. Some of your sh yarn might split like mine does and it does all this but oh yes there we go perfect and you just want to you just want to kind of get it all the way up there so that it's easier to just poke through and thread it. Alright, and as well as I can do this while still multitasking, I am going to just put it, I'm going to use these colors as kind of a guide for where I want to stick my strings, which I'm going to put them in the middle of my gray points right here with the yarn that I used. It's really cool yarn actually. It is just Zebra. It is like the Red Heart Super Saver or whatever, but I just use that. And I think I'm going to put it about right here where the there's like the pole of the knot and then here's like the top of it. Maybe if I zoom in, you can actually see it. There we go. And you just stick it right there. And then, oops. See how well I can get this. And there. I'm just going to pull that through. And hopefully that'll look good. I haven't really looked at it. And then I'm going to just open it up. 
out for an easy tutorial. This is probably the most complicated one I have ever done. Or filmed anyway. But you just want to pull it through and you just leave the tail alone. And I'm going to turn it back over without knocking my camera over. And I'm just going to look back and see where the other point is going to go for my beanie. And I'd say it's gonna kind of, yeah, it'll go in the next gray one. So, I'm just gonna roll it with my fingers on the spit on it. Hopefully that's in focus, I can't really tell. And I'm just gonna thread the needle through. It like dries really fast on here, so you kind of have to wet your fingers really good or just use your tongue and lick it. And I'm filming this tutorial at like 1.30 in the morning, by the way, so bear with me here. I am really tired. But I figured I would film something. Ugh. Usually it works if you just kind of pull on it like this, but... Okay, there we go, finally. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to thread it through my other gray one. And hopefully it'll look good. Just kind of pull it through. I'm going to take this back and look at it for a second. And... Hmm. Here's what it looks like. And I think that looks really good, actually. This pom-pom is a more dense one that I have made compared to the last ones that I've made before. And I could say I like this one a lot. Alright, once you have that tied on, or threaded through I mean, you are just going to take it and make the beanie kind of go inside out or make it in this weird whatever shape I just put this in. And you are going to tie this in a knot. Just like that. And you want to pull really tight so that your pom pom does not fall off at all. And I like to double knot it. If I can figure out how to pull these strings over. And there. Okay. I think I have that pretty well tight. And now what you're going to do with these strings is... I'm going to cut them off just a little bit so that this part isn't as complicating as it should be. Or doesn't need to be as complicated for as easy as it is. I can't really... It is almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I can't think. There's a mat flying. Okay. So, since these are freshly cut, I'm just going to try and throw them through right away. Just a little bit, even though this is not going to work, I can already see it. Alright, doubting yourself works sometimes. But anyway, what I like to do with these parts, I don't know why I do this, honestly. I just watched it on a tutorial one time on making a certain beanie that I made, and it turned out to be really helpful for whatever reason. But um, you just want to take your needle and kind of... You can thread it through this way, or you can thread it around your circle. I'm going to do both ways, so you can't really see this very well. Actually, no, let's turn it this way so you can see it. On the white, I'm just going to take it and thread it through some of the knots. You don't have to go too far down. Just whatever you want to do is whatever you want to do. It does not matter. But you're just going to kind of thread it through. Let me put this in place. But you're just going to thread it through. Just the tops don't go all the way through to where it's going to be seen on the other side. Because I probably should have done it the black on black. Actually, yeah. Sorry, guys. Okay. But you get the gist. All you do is just go through these knots. Just the surface of them. So that your string is not seen. But you don't have to go too far. Just pull it through like this. It's not going to be easy to budge at first, so that's okay. Just kind of tugging on it a little bit until you get it through. And I like to flatten this out a little bit. So that way 
when your string hangs out, it'll be even and your hat won't be taut right there. And you're just going to take it, your scissors, and cut really close to the knot. But not too close to where you're going to cut your knot off because that would not be very good. And I'm going to switch this over so I can get it in the black and you won't see it. And kind of in that gray too, you won't see that. But I'm going to roll this through my fingers hoping that it'll work. But it probably won't. There we go. Like I did with the first string, just pick some random places and thread it through. Make sure this doesn't fall out. Because you do not want to re-thread that. That sucks. And you just go through. Pull it. Just to get all your strings out of the way. And then you are going to take your scissors again. And snip that piece off. And now you have your pom-pom right attached to your beanie. Thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully I can do some more crochet videos in the future because they're actually pretty fun to make. Um, really complicating though because my hands have to reach around my tripod. Because I don't know why, but I picked the dumb decision to film on the floor. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know down in the comments what you would like to see next for a video. Whether it be like a review for whatever you want it to be. Or a tutorial or like hair. No makeup because I'm not good at that. Sorry. Maybe some foundation video. But I don't put on makeup very much. So that might not be a good one. Yep, yep. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.